All right, we're doing triceps now. The opposite of biceps, we're working elbow extension versus elbow flexion. The same rules apply as for biceps training and most other isolation exercises, where we wanna ensure that we're actually isolating the muscle group that we're trying to use. So a couple keys here, same as biceps, lock your elbow into place, use full range of motion, breathe through the rep, and then ensure that you're getting all three parts of the contraction. So as you see me going through these exercises, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. For the triceps, we're extending the elbow. Our shoulder shouldn't be involved in it at all. So when you're doing triceps press downs or maybe uh, triceps kickback, the elbow should be completely stationary, opening and closing throughout the movement without the shoulder moving at all. A lot of times you see people building momentum and really not having control of the weight at all because either it's too heavy or you know they're just trying to eagle lift their way through what they're doing. Lock that elbow into place, work just the tricep for this exercise, and that way you'll get the most extra volume and actually see some growth in your triceps rather than just making your entire upper body sore. That's control, right? Range of motion, same thing as for the biceps. We're just trying to work the elbow all the way through its full range of motion, whether that be a kickback or a push down, right? There's a bunch of exercises you can choose from, but the same rules apply all the way through all of these exercises. The next piece is to ensure that you have all three contractions. Now, when you're doing isolation exercises, a lot of the research has shown that the eccentric portion of the movement causes as much, if not more growth than the concentric portion. So when it comes to triceps exercises, as we're pushing down, that's the concentric portion, right? The, the micro pause at the bottom of the rep, that's the isometric portion. And then the eccentric portion is when we're letting the, muscle, the, the weight back up, or in the case of a kickback, maybe when we're, when we're letting the weight down. Go slow on that portion of the movement. Take your time because that's where a lot of growth is gonna come from as well. Don't cheat yourself on that. Now, these are planned in at the end of the week. They're meant to give you more volume in that particular muscle group, so in the triceps in this case, so that you can see more growth than you would just with the rest of the plan. Your triceps are already getting a lot of stimulation throughout the week because they're pressing muscles. So with bench presses and a lot of the other pressing movements, they're getting a lot of work, but this is your chance to really hammer in some extra volume so that you can see that extra growth over time. Choose whatever exercise works best for you, works best for the gym that you're in, and that's open at the time that you're there and stick with it throughout the entire plan. So that way you can see growth, strength gains, and ensure that once you get that form really hammered in, you can just keep doing it like that over and over again. That's it for triceps training. Pick your exercise, get in the gym, and go ahead and get after it.